even know that Victor and I, apparently that plan, did you hear about the plan about his aunt? Okay, tell her about okay, it. Okay, he's told me two plans. He's basically... Natalie and James. Mm, it's like, so he was, basically has been telling me, like, he's trying to guilt trip me, essentially. It's like, you know, my aunt, you know, the cancer and everything. What? Yeah, and he's like, look, he's like, I swear on my aunt that if you keep me another week, I won't go after you. The person I want to go after is James. Yeah. And if you put James on the block, and he's like, Corey's on board. He's like, uh, Paul would Did be on board. Me? No, I don't know. know. And then he came and talked to me and said, look, man, I, I got to tell you something. I made another deal with Victor, but, like, I swear, like, again, I swear on my aunt with cancer that oh I won't come after you next God. week. And then, and he's like, and he's like, um, he's like, Victor said he wanted to talk to you about it. And I'm like, hey, Vic, did you want to talk to me about this? And he's, he's like, like no, no, I just wanted to tell you. And, and I didn't even tell Paul. And on Natalie for talking about her student loans, but now he's crying to us about his aunt with cancer, and now he has to pay off his parents' mortgage. Don't put that sympathy on us. I Don't make that our decision. Like, it made me so, I was, I was, I was so, and then, <laughs> I, and, and then he was telling, like, him, like, oh, he's talking to me about this one. He already talked to him about, well, you gotta get Victor out. Victor. He's like, uh, you gotta get Victor out, and. Yeah, he was campaigning to me against Victor. He was saying, no one else is gonna be Victor, so I'm not so He told me that, too. Wow. Good. Next time you should walk up and leave. Honestly, he sat down on the table and cried to me and Natalie. He cried and then told him. And then he pulled me to the side and cried about that more and then told me about his own. He, he never saw a psychiatrist. You know he's just telling you that to make you feel bad, right? You don't joke about that. Because he didn't tell us that. He's only telling you that. You know why? Because so, he knows you feel bad. He knows that you're <sighs> sympathy. You're going to fall for it. No, I'm not. It's a dirty game he's playing, and I don't respect it. Neither don't, do don't I. Don't put your, your personal family Your life. aunt? Don't put your personal Yeah, the me life. using the veto. You know who is the only person that ever done yeah. that? Dan Giesling. He said his grandma died. And she didn't. Yep. That's disgusting. Yep. And did he get shit for it? He won. <laughs> oh, well. Big look, man. I've heard of a similar... No, I'm not going to say that. Yeah, dude, it's just... It's, it's, it's hilarious, ridiculous. though. He said about the, the next week thing. He's like... Yeah, if I, I'm going to make a deal with Victor and say that I won't put him up, blah, blah, blah. He's like, because he needs that. And, like, little does he know that Victor has four people on his side. Like, he has no idea. So he told you he would put me up if he got the HOA? No, he said he wouldn't. Oh. Oh, well, well then let's pull him up. <laughs> oh, he told you he would? No, going no. for him? Huh. He oh. said he swore his up. And he made sure to really put in that detail, my aunt with cancer. Never said that to me. But the funny thing that is that... he wouldn't put me up because... He feels bad that I wrote in the blog that he was my ride or die, and then now I have to take him out because he's not. Yeah, and then he said if he wins, PO, if he gets put on the block, he's like, if Nicole or Corey win, they could put me on the block. Like, well, that's going to happen. I know, and then he's like, for POV, I won't use it, I'll stay on the block. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I'm like, I don't want to. You should be like, hey, Polly, does it say fucking idiot on my forehead? And I don't remember getting that he's tattoo. Such, he... He's, like, trying to be, like, Michelle, I just want to make things good with you. I betrayed you. I just, I can't live with myself, like, because they He's know betrayed how everybody. Betrayed you can't make you. it good with everybody. Oh, and now Corey funny. and Nicole see that none of us are buying it, and they're abandoning ship. They're like, all right, we need to back the fuck up from this dude, because he's killing our game now. But little do they know that their game's and already Nicole's, killed, and they're going next. Nicole's lying, because... She's a lying sack of shit. No, because me and her were sitting outside on the thing, and he comes up to us and just starts spitting out, like, the James idea... And, like, when he left, I was like, oh, did you, you know, know about that shit? No, not at all. But, like, why would he come up and just start? Yeah, in confidence. And, like, Corey said he didn't know about Bullshit. it. Bullshit. Bro, Corey and him talk about every fucking thing. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not buying into it. At all. Yeah. You know what actually would be fucking hilarious? If Nicole did win HOH and I got, a, like, a diamond power veto... And I put Corey up. That would be, would be. God, I would. Ch I'd be like, so what are you going to do here, bud? That would be awesome. You are a cod. This is called a fork. <laughs> Paul taught me that. He taught it. I had a dream, actually, that the, one of the care packages is going to be an HOH takeover. I think so. That would be I think so too. Lit. Like the last one could be an HOH takeover. Right. I think so. I mean, it has to be better than being safe, so I think like a Diamond Power Veto would be something like right. that. Right, which and is technically e being HOH. <clears throat> and then even better than that would be the takeover. Mm-hmm, yeah. Or replace a nominee. Yeah. Well, that's okay. the Diamond Power. Right, right, right. 